Hey everyone, another fan here that uh, that I got in that I got for Dan Spiffy Newman on a trade for him. I know this uh, came from uh, fan collector John Reed on the Fanimation group trip this past spring, and um, I love these fans. I love these Evergoes. I got a couple, one in white and brown that are with the gold stripe. This is like a residential version of the uh, Union Gold line, the old 70s to very beginning of the 80s gold lines when they were made by Union. This is a Montgomery Ward Evergo, Union Evergo made, but sold by Montgomery Ward. So, but, but this one, I just love these fans. And I, my friend Dan Spiffy Newman told me that he, uh, he intends to uh, buy up a four gold line blades and uh, an attempt to make make a four metal bladed version of this. That'd be cool to see. So, so we'll have to see when that happens, but uh, that's what I was told. But for right now, I'm going to test this fan out, as it is. And I'm going to start with the zero to high. And let's see the inrush. 0 0.75. I'm feeling air from this already. This... I mean, this isn't quite to gold line. So, I'm gonna take the camera. Get the chair out of the way. Oh yeah, I'm definitely feeling a strong airflow. Touching K55. What it does underneath it. Oh yeah, it's still like a spinner. It's still a residential wood bladed spinner. All right, time for spin down. Well, before we do spin down, Gotta get the final current draw, which is 0.7. It's a good current draw. 76 or 77 watts, I'll call it. It's reading 76.8. And uh, 0.96 for power factor, so we'll definitely call this a power factor of one. Now time for spin down. And next, I'm going to actually do reverse. There is a reverse switch for this fan on the uh, lower canopy. But this is one fan I was definitely drawn to a lot as a, as a little kid. I would just, I would eye these fans out, whether they're in older stores and such. All right, I'm gonna go up, up to the fan here itself, and flip the reverse switch. And we're gonna do another zero to high. Interesting. draws less current in reverse. And it doesn't seem to be going at quite as fast in reverse. Very interesting how this one, wonder if it's just the blades or, 
draws way less current in reverse than it does in forward, so I'm gonna check definitely lower wattage, close to 60 watts, and still close to a power factor of one. But that's very odd. Okay. I'm gonna put it back. Very interesting. All right, now I'm gonna do the decade box and see what kind of wall control I can use on this one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Okay, it starts on eight at least. Now with my uh, Envirofan, which I have on the shelf, I've used in this room, I would use with an 81220, just like with a Union Gold line. And I'm getting a low speed out of the eight microfarads, so it's basically the same thing as what I have. But I also have another brown one with the other style of motor with the indented style. Kind of looks like a safer, a new tone pro line type motor. That's the other union type. Okay, nine, 10. And since I determined to use an 81220, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, getting close to high here. 18, 19, and here's 20. I'm gonna hit high. Not as much of a difference. Not as much of a difference though. Yeah, barely a difference. Huh. Okay. As I know, uh, my Envirofan one you, uh, works perfectly with an 81220 and high on a, for a four speed. All right. Now to do a uh, solid state variable speed control. Cause that's typically what fans like this are put on. Okay. I mean, I hear some hum and buzz, but it's not very loud. I could definitely call this living room quiet. Okay, inching it up. Well, at this time, I would have to use a solid state control. I, think, I wonder if the bearings are just a little bit stiff. 
I mean, they're not bad. They're not noisy or anything. They're just that hair stiff that causes it to need capacitance to get going. And and that's a solid state high. Well, that is actually all I have for this, uh, uh, this Evergo, uh, not Evergo, well, it is a Union Evergo, but this is actually a Montgomery Ward. But one last test I'm going to do. I was testing it just to see how it would react, and uh, I was going to try this control box here. This one is an Enviro fan one, but it's but these fans, these spinner, these Union Evergoes typically came packaged with this type of control, these five-speed transformer control. So I'm gonna see. This one for some reason didn't react too well. Let's see, I'm gonna go all the way over to five, which is low. Okay, so Doesn't do anything, and here's four speed, speed four. Stalls, speed three. This is what it's set at now. I don't know if it's this control or just this type of control in general. But on speed three, I get a decent low. And it's drawing 0.34 amps. Here's speed two, the speed below high, because speed one would be high. Kind of a useless control when I don't get all five speeds out of it. I only get the first three as if this were a three speed. Okay, this would be like, yeah, it should be closer to high, like a backed off high at this point on speed two, because here comes speed one, which is high. All right. Definitely flies, so I don't know if the bearings are just a little bit stiff that it doesn't run as well on lower speeds, because when I get up to 20 microfarads, it's close to high, so an 8, 12, 20, it's kind of a useless control. All right, but that's really all I have for this uh, Montgomery Ward white uh, Union Evergo type spinner. And I'll see you next time with more fans. So go ahead and subscribe and continue watching.